My rank is Group Captain, Royal Australian Air Force. My name is Hinton Taylor, and I'm the Australian National Commander for the exercise. Um, one of the biggest challenges and one of the biggest uh, learning points that we take away from Cote North is our interoperability uh, with our allies, uh, in this case, Japan and the United States of America. So that interoperability requires us to integrate our forces. Integration basically is made up of three things, machine to machine, human to machine, and human to human. And it's that human to human part that really is the hardest. And what I do as a deputy exercise director is I make sure that during the course of the exercise, we're getting that human to human integration and we're getting it right. Uh, I've been to Cope North three times. This is my third one. I came here in 2016 as a commanding officer uh, with a Super Hornet squadron. I was here 2017 as a deputy task group commander role. And uh, so this is my third time. You know, the biggest difference is that we're um, practicing our interoperability much more closely. We've integrated our command and control um, mechanism, basically the uh, CECG, and that, that's probably one of the bigger challenges in that we're, we're working closely. We're not just working in stovepipes together, we're working, we are completely integrated. And all the staffs, for instance, the logistics staff across the JASDAF, the USAF, and the Royal Australian Air Force, all working together at the same table at the same time all the time and that's the biggest difference there are a few challenges I mean you think about it we uh, have large organizations that you know are we share the same values all three are like-minded nations in that regard however we come from slightly different cultures and there's also three different languages right uh, Japanese uh, American English and Australian English so knocking down those I'll call them hurdles. They're not big hurdles, but just working together. So when I say something, uh, another individual might think it's different. So practicing over communicating so that everybody's on the same page at the same time. Well, we're working together. Um, we're, we're working together in understanding how our major systems, our aircraft, uh, work in terms of their strengths and the weaknesses of each capability, as well as how the individuals who operate them are going to operate them so that when we do these large force uh, exercises, we're all on the same page. I, I guess the key point here is that uh, communication can only take you so far. You have to be on the same page before you even take off. What does that mean? Well, we have to understand how we fight and then how we fight together. There'll be some hurdles that we have to overcome and then adapting the way that we fight so that we fight more effectively together. It's like synergy, you know, bringing different cultures, different languages and different machines together, um, figuring out what's the best way that uh, we can produce a desired effect and then from there uh, adapting our TTPs to get a better effect. Synergy, effectively, the, the overall outcome is, is greater than the parts, right? We come together as uh, different capabilities, different major systems. We're speaking different languages or different dialects, and um, we come from different cultures, right? Add that all together, we have to clear those hurdles, and then we adapt our TTPs to maximize our effectiveness and get a better outcome. Well, it's, it's vital. Communication is the key to uh, disaster relief and humanitarian aid. Making sure that everybody um, has the same expectations of what the desired outcome looks like. Bringing our major systems together so that they uh, can create a, a combined effect. For instance, bringing in aircraft. Uh, for, let's say we have a Japanese or a JASDAF aircraft. You know, how do the Royal Australian Air Force and the USAF you know, work with that capability? All right. Same with uh, you, you know using a U.S. Air Force uh, C-130. How does the JASDAF integrate with that? So it's really key that we practice these things because it's it's new, and for most of the at the tactical level, it's new for them, and uh, they realize very quickly they're they're getting paid to solve problems, and if we solve enough problems, we get a mission success. It is a pleasure to be here with like-minded nations on a strategic island with our strategic partners working together 
to bring peace and stability to the western pacific.